Number 10. Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker This is the Cobra Maneuver, a physics-defying feat that only one fighter could perfect. Meet the Su-27 Flanker, a Russian masterpiece that rewrote the rules of air combat. In 1977, chief designer Mikhail Simonov faced every engineer's nightmare. His prototype, the T-10, was failing in every way. Instead of tweaking the design, he made a bold choice, start over completely. The reinvented Su-27 was pure genius. Its blended wing body design with distinctive leading edge extensions cuts through the air like nothing before it, reducing drag by 40%. Twin Saturn AL-31F engines, each delivering 27,500 pounds of thrust, launch it to Mach 2.35 while maintaining incredible agility. In real combat, it proved devastating. Ethiopian flankers achieved a perfect 8-0 kill ratio during the Eritrean War. Russian Su-27s continue to demonstrate their capabilities, intercepting NATO aircraft with ease. Today's Su-27 SM-3, with its thrust vectoring engines and advanced electronics, proves that this Cold War warrior isn't just surviving, it's evolving. Some fighters are built for speed, others for maneuverability. The flanker masters both. Number 9. MiG-23 Flogger Watch closely as this fighter transforms mid-flight. This is the MiG-23 Flogger, the Soviet Union's shape-shifting superweapon that could adapt to any mission in seconds. 1967, the Soviets needed an answer to America's F-111. Under chief designer Rostislav Belyakov, they created something extraordinary, a fighter that could operate from rough airfields yet hit Mach 2.4. The Flogger's secret wings that could sweep from 16 to 72 degrees in under 12 seconds. This wasn't just clever engineering, it was revolutionary. A sophisticated computer system adjusted these wings automatically based on speed and g-forces, while the mighty Tumansky R-29 engine, pumping out 27,500 pounds of thrust, propelled it to twice the speed of sound. In combat, the flogger proved it was more than just impressive numbers on paper. Syrian MiG-23s went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Israeli F-15s over level. Lebanon. Iraqi pilots used them for lightning-fast strikes during the Iran-Iraq war, appearing and vanishing before defenses could respond. Today, a handful of these swing-wing warriors still guard the skies, upgraded with modern electronics, proving that sometimes the best designs are the ones that can adapt to anything. Number 8. F-15 Eagle Watch as 15 tons of American muscle climb straight up into the sky. This is the F-15 Eagle, a fighter so powerful it can accelerate while flying vertically. 1972, McDonnell Douglas had one mission, build an air superiority fighter that would dominate the skies for decades. Their motto, not a pound for air to ground. The result would become a legend. Powered by twin Pratt & Whitney F-100 engines producing 29,000 pounds of thrust each, the Eagle isn't just fast, it's ruthless efficient. Its advanced digital control system adjusts performance in milliseconds, while the high-mounted swept wings and sophisticated aerodynamics let it hit Mach 2.5 with ease. In combat, it's nearly unstoppable. During Desert Storm, F-15 scored 34 of 35 coalition air victories. Its combat record, 104 kills, zero losses. From Israeli operations over Lebanon to Japanese intercepts in the Pacific, the Eagle has ruled the skies for decades. Today's F-15 EX Eagle II takes this legacy even further. Advanced radar, electronic warfare systems, and hypersonic weapon capability ensure this speed demon will keep dominating the skies well into the future. Number 7. MiG-31 Foxhound Meet the fastest combat aircraft still flying today. The MiG-31 Foxhound. When you need to intercept something going Mach 3, this is the beast you call. Chief designer Rostislav Belyakov faced a daunting challenge. Improve upon the already legendary MiG-25. His solution? Create something that would push the boundaries of what we thought possible. Powered by two massive D-30 F-6 engines, each pumping out 34,000 pounds of thrust, the Foxhound is a force of nature. Its revolutionary four-position inlet ramps create precise shockwaves that compress incoming air, letting it sustain speeds that would melt conventional fighters. But raw speed isn't everything. Its powerful radar can track multiple targets at 200 kilometers while traveling at Mach 2.83. The airframe, built from special nickel-steel alloys, laughs off the intense heat of sustained high-speed flight. The Foxhound proved its worth repeatedly in real-world operations. During the Cold War, MiG-31s regularly intercepted SR-71 Blackbirds over the Arctic, being the only fighter capable of matching their extreme altitude and speed. In 1987, a Foxhound made history by successfully tracking and intercepting the U.S. Space Shuttle, reaching an astounding altitude of 37,650 meters. In Syria, MiG-31s have provided high-speed escort for Russian strike packages. The 
aircraft's incredible speed and powerful radar have made it particularly effective in intercepting cruise missiles. Over Ukraine, foxhounds carrying Kinzhal hypersonic missiles have conducted standoff strikes from Russian airspace. Today, Russian MiG-31s routinely intercept NATO aircraft over the Baltic and Arctic regions. The Kazakh Air Force uses them to guard their vast airspace, while the modernized MiG-31BM variant continues to break intercept records during exercises, reaching targets at ranges exceeding 320 kilometers. Number 6. XB-70 Valkyrie They called it the Valkyrie, a six-engine giant that looked more like a spaceship than an aircraft. In 1964, this chrome-white behemoth would push the boundaries of what was possible in the sky. Under Harrison storms at North American Aviation, a dream took shape create a bomber that could cruise at three times the speed of sound. Not just reach Mach 3, but stay there for hours. The Valkyrie's genius lay in its ability to ride its own shockwaves. At Mach 3, the aircraft's unique design trapped high-pressure air under its massive delta wings, literally surfing on its own sonic boom. The wingtips would fold down 65 degrees, creating a phenomenon engineers called compression lift. Six General Electric YJ-93 engines, each generating 28,000 pounds of thrust, powered this 250-ton marvel to speeds exceeding 2,000 miles per hour. At full tilt, the Valkyrie's titanium skin would heat to over 600 degrees hour. Tragically, only two were built. The program ended after Aircraft 2 was lost in a devastating collision with an F-104 chase plane in 1966. The surviving Valkyrie, after achieving 83 test flights and providing invaluable data about high-speed flight, now rests in the Air Force Museum, a gleaming testament to an era when nothing seemed impossible. Number 5. Lockheed YF-12 Before the legendary SR-71, another black giant ruled the stratosphere. Meet the YF-12, an interceptor so fast it could outrun the missiles to designed to shoot it down. In 1963, at the height of the Cold War, Lockheed's Kelly Johnson received a critical mission, create an interceptor that could catch Soviet bombers before they reached American shores. This solution would change aviation history. Flying at Mach 3.35, the YF-12's titanium skin would heat to over 1,000 gray spheres. Johnson's team developed a revolutionary cooling system that used the fuel as a heat sink, while the corrugated titanium skin could expand 6 inches during flight without buckling. During classified tests at Area 51, the YF-12 proved its worth as a missile platform. In 1965, it successfully launched test missiles at Mach 3.2, something never achieved before or since. The aircraft could intercept targets at altitudes up to 80,000 feet while carrying three AM-47 Falcon missiles with ranges exceeding 100 miles. The Air Force was so impressed, they ordered 93 aircraft for Air Defense Command. In practice, intercepts against high-flying B-58 Hustler bombs Bombers, the YF-12 could climb to 74,000 feet in just 11.5 minutes, faster than any potential Soviet bomber could escape. Though never deployed in actual combat, the YF-12 played a crucial role in deterring Soviet incursions. The mere existence of an interceptor that could reach any incoming bomber within minutes changed the strategic balance of power. The Soviets accelerated development of their own high-speed aircraft in response. Today, the sole surviving YF-12 rests at the Air Force Museum, but its impact on aviation continues. Every modern interceptor's weapon system owes something to this Mach 3 pioneer. Number 4. MiG-25 Foxbat When NATO first spotted this beast in 1970, they thought they'd seen a ghost. The MiG-25 Foxbat was so fast, so high-flying, that it sparked a crisis in Western intelligence. They weren't wrong to worry. Under Mikhail Gurevich's leadership, Soviet engineers built a monster. Twin Tumansky R-15 engine each producing 22,000 pounds of thrust, powered this giant to Mach 3.2. But push it past that speed, and the engines would literally melt themselves. While America used expensive titanium, the Soviets chose brute force, nickel-steel alloy construction. Heavier? Yes. But it could handle the 900 degree Farad heat of Mach 3 flight without complex cooling systems. Sometimes, simpler is better. In combat, the Foxbat proved terrifying. In 1981, an Iraqi MiG-25 shot down an Iranian F-14 Tomcat from 20 miles away. During the 1973 Yom Kippur War, Israeli F-4 Phantoms couldn't even get close to Syrian Foxbats flying reconnaissance at 75,000 feet. In 1971, Indian MiG-25s photographed all of Pakistan's secret bases flying so high and fast that Pakistani F-16s were helpless to intervene. Today, while most have retired, Algeria's Foxbats still guard the Sahara, a reminder that sometimes, raw 
raw speed and power trump sophistication. Number 3. SR-71 Blackbird This isn't just an airplane, it's a rebellion against physics. Meet the SR-71 Blackbird, the spy plane that turned science fiction into reality and rewrote the rules of aviation. Kelly Johnson's team at Skunk Works faced an impossible task, build an aircraft that could outrun missiles. Their solution? Create something that actually got more efficient as it went faster. The J-58 engines were engineering magic. At Mach 3.2+, plus, they transformed into ramjets, bypassing the main engine core. The faster it flew, the better it performed. The only aircraft in history that could make that claim. Each engine produced a staggering 34,000 pounds of thrust. The results were staggering. Over North Vietnam, Blackbirds routinely outran SA-2 missiles, which could only watch as their target disappeared at 2,200 plus miles per hour. During the Yom Kippur War, SR-71s photographed the entire Sinai Peninsula in under an hour. Over North Korea, it mapped missile sites while flying at 85,000 feet. In 11,000 missions over 32 years, no Blackbird was ever lost to enemy fire. When warnings of missile launches came, pilots had a simple defense. Push the throttles forward and watch the threats fall away. One crew even recorded racing from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. in 64 minutes, averaging 2,145 miles per hour. Number 2. NASA X-15 Watch closely. You're about to see the moment when aircraft became spacecraft. This is the X-15, mankind's first step into hypersonic flight, and still the fastest crewed aircraft ever built. Launched from the wing of a B-52 at 45,000 feet, the X-15 wasn't just fast, it was revolutionary. Under Harrison Storm's leadership, North American aviation created something that could fly at nearly seven times the speed of sound. Its XLR-99 rocket engine was a monster, producing 57,000 pounds of thrust, enough to push the X-15 to the edge of space. The throttle control, revolutionary for its time, let pilots adjust power from 50% to 100%, while a sophisticated cooling system prevented the engine from vaporizing itself. The achievements were staggering. On October 3, 1967, Pete Knight hit Mach 6.72, over 4,520 miles per hour. Joe Walker took it to 354,200 feet, almost 70 miles high. Neil Armstrong, before walking on the moon, flew seven X-15 missions. Of the program's 199 flights, 13 met the Air Force criteria for spaceflight. Built from Inconel X, nickel-chromium alloy, and featuring gold-plated windshields, the X-15 could handle temperatures hot enough to melt conventional aircraft. At extreme altitudes, it switched to hydrogen peroxide thrusters, literally becoming a spacecraft. Number 1. NASA X-43 This is the moment humanity broke the hypersonic barrier. November 16, 2004, NASA's X-43A screamed through the sky at nearly 7,400 miles per hour, faster than anything with an air-breathing engine had ever flown. Under Joel Sitz's leadership, NASA's HyperX program aimed to do the impossible. Create an engine with no moving parts that could operate at speeds where the air itself becomes plasma. They succeeded beyond anyone's dreams. The X-43's scramjet engine was pure genius in simplicity. No turbines, no compressors. The aircraft's shape itself compressed the air for combustion. At Mach 9.6, the air entering the engine was hotter than a blowtorch, around 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Think about that. This thing flew through an inferno. Each test pushed the boundaries further. March 2004, Mach 6.83. November 2004, Mach 9.6. Though the flights lasted only 10 seconds, they proved hypersonic flight was possible. The first flight covered 15 miles in just 11 seconds, about 75 times faster than a typical passenger jet. Today, the X-43's legacy lives on in modern hypersonic weapons and aircraft development. China's Shinkong-2, Russia's Zircon, and America's own scramjet programs all owe their existence to this revolutionary design. We're looking at the grandfather of future hypersonic hypersonic travel.